Okay, so in this rule, the second rule, we'll talk about the power rule. So far, we know that the integration of a constant becomes a constant time of variable. So a 3, if we are integrating in respect of x, it becomes 3 x but what is the integral of something that is for example like here we have 3x we have a variable that is to a power of 1 how do you find the integral of that well the rule is simple the integral of a function f with a power p is the function with p plus 1 power over p plus 1 so let's say we have x x has a power of 1 what is the integral of x well basically you add 1 to the power of x so it becomes x squared and then whatever number you have you put it on the bottom so it becomes x squared over 2 the only exception that we have for this rule is when f of x equals x to the power of minus 1. You don't basically add 1, so become minus 1 plus 1 having 0, and the integral of f of x equaling 1. But actually what you do is the integral of f of x equaling x to the minus 1 is natural log of absolute value of x plus c, c being the constant. So that's the only exception. But the integral of a function f with a power p is the function with p plus 1 power over p plus 1. So let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say f of x equals x. What is the integral of f of x well basically it's as simple as that so it becomes x squared over 2 what if we have this one f of x equals 3x to the fourth what is the integral of that well as the previous example you basically add 1 to the 4 so it becomes 3x to the fifth over 5 that's the power rule it's very very simple and remember except when f of x equals x to the power of minus 1 the integral of that is natural log of absolute value of x plus c and don't forget that we have c's here we have plus c here we have plus c here but we are not writing it for simplicity so let's say we have this example f of x equals the square root of 4x how do you find the integral of that or where is the integral well basically turn this into a bracket it becomes 4x to the power of 1 over 2 and the integral of f of 2x to the power of 1 over 2 basically you add 1 to it so it becomes 2x 3 over 2 because 1 over 2 plus 1 it becomes 3 over 2 it's 2x to the 3 over 2 over this power this number that we get so it's 2x to the 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 and this is basically is just 4 times the cubic root of x squared over 3 so this is basically the power rule when you want to find it basically you add 1 to the power and then whatever number you get you put it on the bottom so the integral of a function f with a power p is the function with p plus 1 power over p plus 1 and don't forget the exception so this is about the power rule. Let's check out the third rule.